Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Shivatsan here from Home Tech, and uh, recently I got invited to the Samsung Mobile Center at Edmore, and uh, they told me to review the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Since it is just released uh, before a month, I thought why not make a standalone video? So I'll be telling about the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and why it is the best android smartphone for the next couple of months until the note 9 is released or the next iphone is released uh, which is due in september so um, without much further ado let's get straight into the video but before that if this is the first time you're checking into my channel please do subscribe and follow me on other social networks yeah so uh, let's get straight into the video So uh, Samsung has revealed its latest flagship smartphone the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. A new phone follows its highly successful Galaxy S8 but the only new feature that we could get or the feature that was modified from that of the Galaxy S8 was the placement of the fingerprint sensor which is now the app position and this is the selling point for the Samsung Galaxy S9 series. Let's leave the conventional review aside. What do you do to improve what many consider to be the best smartphone on the market? As it turns out, not a lot. A year ago, Samsung released the Galaxy S8 and pushed the boundaries of the industrial design, introducing an infinity display or the all screen design that made competing handsets look instantly outdated. So, to no surprise, last month, Samsung's new S9 series was barely deviating from its predecessor on the first glance. Under the surface, however, Samsung has introduced a handful of tweaks, notably the smartphone's most important component, its camera and the placement of the fingerprint sensor, as I said earlier, was the selling point for this successful model. The S9 Plus officially packs the best smartphone camera ever tested by DxOMark and it has got a score of 99, placing it above the Google Pixel 98 and the iPhone X which scores a 97. One of the main selling points of the S9 Plus is dual camera is the fact that the wide-angle camera features the first variable aperture lens to appear in a smartphone. It uses a f1.5 aperture in low light situations and switches to a f2.4 aperture when there's more light. So with features like super slow motion at 960 frames per second, the AR emojis and uh, the camera itself. I am sure that Galaxy S9 will not disappoint you with its performance. The battery life is about 3500mAh which is quite okay. So uh, the verdict I would say that the S9 Plus isn't a perfect smartphone but it gets very close to perfection in a highly fragmented Android smartphone segment. So that's it as of this video guys, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Until then I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.